is happening people. So today, we are back at Kerr Lake. Got my son Boone with me today. He's fishing with me today. We're gonna target this vertical structure around these bridge pilots. We're gonna fish minnows and some jigs. I figure the fish probably uh, 20 feet deep. And uh, anyway, we're gonna use our electronics today. Uh, so we got my Garmin unit here on the back. We got the new Panoptics live scope on the front. And you guys stick with us and we're gonna show you exactly how to use your electronics, target and catch these crappy today. So stay with us and let's go catch a fish. So you guys can see, there's the bottom of that pillow. And don't let me hit the pilot. And so there's, there's fish all along here. So right now we're running down scan. Uh, and just going right along the front these pillows and there's some brush right there on the bottom of that pillow you can see it here and there's a that's more than likely crappy right there 10 to 12 foot deep and we're getting ready to come past another bridge pilot Another bridge piling. That's probably some crappy. There's a log. There's a log on the bottom there. So there's crappy all along here. There's some crappy up the side of that pillar. Now let's switch over to side side scan. We'll basically take this screen and I'm gonna move it to the side because we view into this side and there's some fish around that pile in there. Looks like we have a few fish on it. Now really all in all, I can see these fish better on down scan than I can. Um, and I can see, let me swing out the fish. There's fish breaking right there. One more pillow and we're going to switch back to uh, down scan. Looks like the fish is holding on the shady side of the pillows. See them? All right, let's go to down scan real quick. Go past this one. Yeah, see, all the fish look like they're hanging on the, the shadow side. Yep, there again. they on this side. There's some kind of underwater anomaly. See, down scan actually scans out far enough. Now there's a big school of fish right there, 10 feet. Could be shad. Which pillow is that one? Fifth one out. Boom, there's a school of crappy right there. We're gonna check, we, we got like four more pillows to check. And that's probably crappy there. There's another school. That's probably shad up around 10 feet. Now there's a big school of fish right there. So technically, I can, pro I can spot the crappy myself better on the down scan than I can with the side scan on these pillars because the cone is going out. It's 30 feet of water. The cone's going out so far, I can still see into the, into the uh, piling. So this second to the fourth pile and it's got right many crappy on it so let's go get the uh, panoptics live scope on them and let's go target them and catch a fish yeah so all right folks so there it is that is the that is the, that's the bridge pile and we fishing right there Boom. see all these fish out on this front side in the shadow line down on the front side right in front of the boat. And again, that's the perspective. So you can see on that grid there at 20 feet, and we have them stacked up. There's a stack of fish at 20, so let's see if we can catch them. Yeah, a little one, that's quite what we have to. Well, 
Pero, vamos a un old big one. So, guys, this is uh, this is my 10 foot uh, pole, and uh, so for the rig, we're going to use live bait. So that's basically that's just an eighth ounce jig and uh, Bobby Garland's uh, straight tail and a number two hook, and I have uh, have it hooked in line. So there'll be a minnow here, and then this will be my weight that actually holds it down. So that's one rig. And let me add this. And, and so one of the reasons that Sometimes I'll put a minnow above. That minnow will be sitting there kicking and it'll cause this jig to just sit there in the water and jig. So this gives me two presentations. And sometimes I catch fish on this and they don't hit the minnow. And sometimes they hit the minnow and don't hit the jig. So this way I'm more versatile. We use that slip cord. You just basically, you just cast that. Oh, uh, well, another little one. Another little one. Yeah. We'll just use it with the slip cork if you want to. You know how to do that? Yeah, okay, this is the slip. Right, so it's probably set for 20 feet. And so you'll pitch it over there and then it's got a little bobber stop on it that runs down to there. And the bobber will stand straight up like this. And if it, if it lays over or starts under the water, you got a fish on it. And so another 14 foot pole and this is the same rig we use with the slip bobber. Of course, we have our, our we will have our weight here, and then below the weight, about 12 to 14 inches. You see, number two gold hook here, and we also have a couple of rods hooked up with the slip bobber, like we've caught them here before. But we're going to try these straight poles because I think we can stay in the strike zone longer with holding the pole up there. So hey, let's go catch a fish. White bass, white bass. Boom. No. Right out of that group of crappy, right there is where that fish. All these is probably shed, and that's your crappy holding down that around that pilot. Just holding it still. Boom. I like that old electric chicken. Still little. 21 foot. Get your lower bone. got a lot of drag on it. Oh, he didn't like it. Big old catfish, ain't it? I believe it is old blue catfish. Like that old, you like that old, you like that old bait. I'm gonna lay him down, bro. Big old blue catfish. Where must the catfish go? I think that's what we're doing, catfish. Doing good. 
Little ones. What y'all done done? No, I got catfish poo all over me. <laughs> I mean, all over me. He paid me back. I you were just putting makeup on for you. No, Boone said, you got some black stuff all over you. I got to looking and I said, that's catfish poo. We going in this time. I ain't never seen so much boat traffic. Yeah, how many big ones you got? Look at that, Boone. Look, Boone pull them in two at a time. Oh, yeah, that's a good crappy. So we're going to end this video. It's about 1.20. We're going to head to the house. We fish minnows and jigs today. Mainly the minnows out fish the jigs today. Uh, it's been kind of a tough day today. We've caught a bunch of smith fish, but the fish have been small today. Uh, we just couldn't find those big crappie today. And uh, usually, I mean, we done basically what we did in weeks past and found these fish. But been a tough day today. Hey, some days it's like that. But these new electronics really changed the way that we can focus on catching these crappie. I mean, we can really pinpoint exactly where those crappie are stacked around that structure and, uh, I mean, get the lure right in on them. So that has really aided. So, hey guys, hope you saw something in the video you enjoyed. Hope you saw something you learned. And as always, remember, it's a wildlife and I'll see you on the water.